Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. Here we go again, off into the uncharted waters of Overlord Season 4, the latest season of Overlord, and according to some people out there... Definitely not me starting watching the series thinking it only had three seasons. <laughs> but from what I understand, a lot of people out there think that this is not only the latest season, but it is also the greatest season. A lot of people out there really, really like this season. Uh, has, I think, a really good review on uh, on um, the br my brain, my anime list. Yes, thank you, Mal. Damn, I'm trying to think of it, and it's like so. I just hear from people back and forth whether that's even credible or not. Like, but, I mean, from me looking at the list, I'm like, I mean, you know, the ratings don't seem that off. No, not really. Overlord uh, season one, seven point nine one. Overlord two, seven point seven six. Overlord three, seven point nine two. Overlord 4, 8.08. So it's the f it's the first and only season of Overlord to have an 8. To break 8. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, Overlord Season 4, Episode 1, Sorcerer Kingdom Eins Algoon. Eins Algoon, Nation of Leading Darkness. Oh, boy. It's getting wordier and wordier with his title, it looks like. Good Lord, it's like, the, it's like all the modern anime with, like, the stupidly long names for no reason. <laughs> Let's get this on screen. Let's give it a watch. Here we go. No. <laughs> yeah, you're going to want to burn those sheets. <laughs> He's not asleep. He never sleeps. Oh, he just... もし<笑> Hmm? Yeah. So it looked like one of those you bugs that uh, uh, yeah. served as the voice box for um, the bug, the bug girl, the bug maid. I forget her name. It's uh, related to the study Into of insects. Entoma? Uh, no. Yeah, Entoma. Yeah, okay. Entomologist. Oh. A lot of folders. <laughs> Photographic memory. Oh, that's what that was. あ。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> <laughs> that was actually him. Oh. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, Albedo's like, like, this is bullshit! Albedo's just like, I will murder both of them in their sleep. <laughs> oh, no. 
かいそれにんこの匂いはいかがいたしましたかいやいい香りがするなよろしければもっと嗅がれてはどうでしょうか<笑> Oh God <laughs> So creepy Dude I know you know Hmm? She's the one perpetrating this, <laughs> god dang it! There's exactly one pervert in this room. Yeah. And she's got horns. You call her a horny bitch. <laughs> exactly. Alright, it's been a little longer. Now get off. Oh,とにかく,アウラがなぜ、不正の欲求か?いずれにせよ必要なのは上層教育。優しくだ。それとそろそろ降りよう<笑>はい実はねエランテルで将来的にエルはもともと交易都市だったのよでもアインス様が支配されるようになったから徐々に物資が減りつつある状況だわ解決してくれるよいわよアルベドすでに手は打っているのだろはい一度私がリエスティーゼへ行ってもよろしいでしょうか何Yeah, I never thought about something like that, but like just taking over a kingdom brings a lot of like extra problems with it. <laughs> it should be optional. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's that was their creator. Oh, I must go. Superstitiousでもないクニになるところだった。うん。ああ、ハムスケ。Superstitiousでもないクニになるところだった。うん。そういえば、お前にブギーが。いや、now <laughs> Oh. Cut him off before he could say anything cringy. Tonari, Futsu a time in the Yona. Ixka Honosio Kitito Motin. Why not just be like, no, there, sit over there? Yeah. Must have made him like a year after getting the game or something. Like, yeah. It was just like when he was still like a cringy, edgy teenager or something. Well, no doubt. Yeah, that's true. She's viewing this as witnessing a very touching moment between father and son, probably. Yeah.聞きしたいことがございます。父上は魔導国をどのように統治されるのでしょうか。多くの人間が桃に尋ねるのです。父上、魔導国はこの国をどこに導くつもりなのか。<laughs> it's unfortunate that she has to like stick by him at all times because he could just teleport anywhere. She's like, Oh, damn it, where'd he go this time? I was wondering what he... was happening, and then you said that, and I realized. And then she guarantees you she ran outside. She's like, Where is he? Oh, damn it. Oh. So is he training that bug to have his voice so that he can give it to a actor to basically use his voice? I think so. I think that's what's happening. He didn't like hearing that. Mm-hmm. Damn, actually a really good point. Yeah, I feel like that should have been a good point. Hey! Oh, that was a good point. Hey! Oh, that was a good point. Yeah, his goal is starting to sound a little less, like, totally evil. Yeah, I agree. Mm. Sounds more altruistic and it sounds more... Sounds like he actually wants to genuinely help. Mm. Which is which is good. Which is good and honestly, the benefit of him doing what he does, or doing this and making things better for everyone else, 
is going to eventually... Well, once again, I know that there's a way he can present this to Demiurge because Demiurge is going to see this and he's going to think, Master, why don't you just rule over them with an iron fist and just make them do what you want? To which I know I my response would be, Demiurge, if you make if you push someone into submission, no matter how much they fear you, they will always resent you. Mm-hmm. Whereas if you take them under your wing, give them things that they never knew that they needed, provide them with things that they cannot live without, they will die defending you and they will worship you more than they will worship you long after you are dead. So basically, I mean he could rule with an iron fist very easily. All he'd have to do is just snap his fingers and and just like summon some eldritch fucking horrors and basically that's it. That's all he'd have to do. I hate and, to bring religion to it uh, into it, but the point you just made is exactly why I always am just like, are you serious right now? Whenever someone is like, well, if God's all powerful, why doesn't he just make everyone follow him? Because not how that works. If he just made everyone follow him, everyone's gonna dislike him probably. Yeah. If he just made everyone like him, there's no free will. Like, well, that's the thing. It's always about like, God puts His love out there for you to embrace and for you to take in yourself. That is your choice, as it's been said, and you know, be it unto thee to find thine own salvation. That's always been one of my. That's been one of my favorite things because. You're never going to make everybody believe, and you should never force someone to believe what you believe. Ever. Mm-hmm. I think forcing beliefs upon people is does nothing but creates discord and just makes people like just turn away. It makes people turn away from what you're from what you're teaching. That's why I don't want the government to make laws based on Christian values that everyone else has to follow, and that's why like I don't try to be like, you should believe in God or else to anyone ever. I'm like, if you would like to talk about what I believe, I will gladly do that. Yeah, it's like, if you don't, uh, I'm not one of these, like, he was like, if you don't believe what I believe, you're going to hell. I, I hate those people. You're, you're putting yourself in a situation of righteousness. You're not righteous. God is righteous. Yes. Like, you are just a flawed human that he is given a chance, like, at salvation doesn't make you better than everybody else. Agreed. Like, but anyways, that's... Sorry. That's okay. I know a lot of people get turned off when people bring up religion, so... Like, yeah, it's one of those things. But I don't mind it. But, uh... You know what was good, though? What? This episode. Yes, it was. This was probably the best dialogue-heavy episode of the show so far. I, th- um, I think they I found think, a good flow. Yeah, I think the writing in this was a lot better than some of the other dialogue-heavy episodes they've had, and it didn't feel like a slog to get through you know and no i would definitely give this at least an eight like i would too so, it's a uh, good opener yeah like the, the fact that they started with a dialogue heavy episode and i wasn't bored says it's a good sign i think i feel like for this season so far i agree i agree wholeheartedly i think that's gonna do it so uh once again this was uh overlord episode or season four episode one sorcerer kingdom eins algun eins algun nation of leading darkness so we hope to see you all in the next one and i uh, hope y'all are excited for overlord season four because we are just getting started uh, so for now until next time i'm nate i'm nick y'all be good people take care peace